As we count down to polls opening up, all eyes are on the race for Florida governor as Democrats are working to defeat Republican Governor Ron DeSantis in November. But who will the incumbent face? West 2's Gail Pascal brown joins us now in the studio with what the Democratic contenders have to say about that. Indeed, with Florida's primary taking place tomorrow, Democrats are hoping to get Ron DeSantis out of the governor's mansion in November. Polls say one thing in this primary eve, but just what are the challengers expressing? The Democratic primary for Florida governor pits U.S. Representative Charlie Crist against Agriculture Commissioner Nikki Freed. The winner will face Republican Governor Ron DeSantis in November. They're going to come out, they're going to vote, and we're going to make sure that we are electing the first female governor of the state of Florida. And we are going to try something new. Make no mistake about it. Because this guy wants to be president of the United States of America. When we defeat him on November 8th, that show is over. Chris, the former Republican governor, has been crisscrossing the state, including this stop Monday night in St. Petersburg. We've got people. And democracy is about people. And I know this. We have a good night tomorrow night. There's going to be a lot of stuff coming our way to help out and make sure we save our Florida. It's too important. Every little girl in Florida. But Freed has been trying to persuade women voters she's the only one capable of challenging Governor DeSantis. That energy, that excitement that we are seeing everywhere is a Nikki wave and a Nikki surge. And what we're seeing also is that women are supporting women. Ahead of the Democratic primary, St. Pete polls show more than 59% of voters said they choose Chris. Almost 30% said Freed and 11% were undecided. That's why you deserve better. That's why this campaign is going to be successful. That's why tomorrow is going to be a great day to move Florida forward that much more. Seeing the Nikki surge in real life, um, we know that we're going to win tomorrow. Now, pollsters conducted the survey August 20th and 21st. More than 1,600 likely Democratic primary voters were polled. The poll had a 2.4 percentage point margin of error. Back to you, Jim.